Okay, well, welcome, body odor sufferers. I just got off of work because it's a Friday and I get to leave early from work. And I guess that's like the only positive thing I can really say about this job. You can leave work early on a Friday. There's, so, there's a couple of positive things I can really say, but I'm not going to really get into that because fuck that job. But I do want to talk about a topic I had in mind. A topic was simply, do you think we're going to be lonely for the rest of our lives? I was really thinking about that a lot. Um, I, I, you know, when you go on YouTube and you type in T-Mal or just body, well, mostly T-Mal, you're going to get people who say they have T-Mal. And I don't even think they know, I don't even think they think they have T-Mal or I don't think they even tested themselves for T-Mal to know for a fact that they do have T-Mal. But they just say they have T-Mal because they have this weird body odor condition and they don't know how to classify it because that's the only thing that is somewhat similar to what they're experiencing. Any case... I see that some of these people are women and they have kids and stuff like that. So it tells me that they had relationships um, with other people, regardless if they smelled at that point or not. But I do know that with a lot of other people, they have severe loneliness. Um, they, have, they haven't really been in a relationship um, while having this odor and one of the one of the biggest things about this odor is it forces you to get into isolation and at times it's good because now you're just away from people you're away from comments you're away from stress when you're away from people you're away from stress um but at the same time you don't have these intimate moments and i'm not really meaning intimate moments in like a sexual manner i just mean like intimate moments in terms of just chilling out with friends and talking shit or whatever the case may be so car just went by that's interesting but intimate moments where you are just talking and just, just having fun with friends and you know just doing fun stuff you don't have these moments anymore um all you have to do is just stick to yourself because that's the only time you feel less anxiety and that's a problem that's a problem for a lot of people so i don't know i just think that to myself like I'm like 28 and I'm thinking, man, am I going to be lonely for the rest of my life? Yeah, I have, I have, I guess I have a friend, but again, this is like a body odor friend. This is only a friend because of we both share this distinct problem that we have some weird body odor problem that cannot be resolved by washing or, or putting on the odor. So I think about how there is not really too much information on my condition. I think it's somewhat, somewhat similar to humanity. Okay, I had to refinish doing this, uh, this uh, topic about um, loneliness or being lonely for the rest of our lives because it was too windy I actually re rewatched it. it it sounded it looked like it was gonna be good in the parking lot but apparently it was too much wind and that messed with the sound so you couldn't hear what I had to say so I'm gonna just try to finish what I was talking about I think I, I left off on the pack I mean on the part where I have this weird condition and at this moment no one knows what is wrong with me a lot of doctors say it's in my head or they don't smell anything so i think it's going to take a long time before they really figure it out they somebody really focuses in on why a collection of people say they smell bad or they do smell bad and it's not team al and then they figure out a proper treatment for it right now even with team al team al has been discovered i mean the first person that was diagnosed was like in the 70s and with team al and now 40 years later, there's apparently some type of pill. Um, but at this moment for me, it's like, uh, I tested for T-Mal, it came back negative. I'm pretty sure eventually they'll figure it out what's wrong with me, but I'm probably gonna be a really old man. And within that, like, what am I going to do at the point when they really figure out and give it a name that this is this type of disease and you know, you smell bad because X, Y, Z and you need to take this type of prescription or this type of medication in order to reduce these symptoms so within that that time period if they ever figure it out am i always just going to be alone am i always just going to 
how all it's gonna just stay in my mother's house and make these stupid videos about what's going on in my head, what I'm thinking about, uh, you know, it's not even just, it's not really, again, it's not really about just relationships in terms of having a girlfriend. It's just relationships and just having friends and just being able to hang out with friends and feeling normal and stuff like that. You know, I think my life would be less shitty if I had just like, I just can go to a friend's house and just talk to them or just chill and just do whatever, do whatever with friends. But I don't really have that luxury um, I, I don't really have the luxury to even go to public places, even if I did accrue friends. So I know there was some statistics about, I, I spoke about it in the video, but I don't think I really talked about it. It was toward the end and toward the end, it was just too windy. So you probably couldn't even hear me if I, even if I said it, but, um, I was essentially saying that there was some information about, I think I read some information online about loneliness and how, um, Loneliness is equivalent to smoking a pack of cigarettes. That's how detrimental it is to your health. So if many people are like me, well, there's only a few people in the world who, who have similar conditions like me, but within these collections of pe this collection of people, they have loneliness just like I do. Us isolating ourselves, even though it's better to be isolate yourself because now you feel normal, you don't have to worry about stress, at the same time, it is bad for you mentally or health-wise because as a human being, we're just naturally social creatures. So I guess this is why it's sort of important to try to get some type of friends or try to accrue body odor friends or whatever you want to call it. Or just disability friends, I guess that's a more PC term. Body odor friends sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just to build up some friends and try to meet up with people and hopefully you find someone really close to your area. I don't think I've ever, I mean, the people that I found closest to my area is like 40 minutes away. You know, that I think that's like the closest, that's not true. I have, I did have a meetup once, which I think would be a great topic to have about meetups because I had this one meetup um, and they, we were close, but she stopped talking to me. <laughs> She just she just stopped talking to me because I think she had a boyfriend. She said she had bad breath. I don't I don't want to really want to get into that, but I don't know, man. I just think to myself, are we gonna be lonely for the rest of our lives? Are we ever gonna be lonely for the rest of our lives? Are we always just going to, um, whenever there is any type of anxiety that you get to in a, when you get into a public place, are we just gonna naturally flee back into isolation because that's the only time we feel normal? That's definitely a thing that happened to me at Christmas. When I felt too paranoid, when I got too much anxiety being around people and I felt like people were talking about me or people rubbing their nose or holding their breath when they were walking past me at Christmas time, I just naturally fled back into my house where there was nobody around and I was just watching, continue to watch YouTube videos. I don't want to make it this long because I know this camera, this motherfucker has an internal heating problem and it just turns off at any moment so I just want to just make it simple and it's already five minutes so I guess I'll end it right here also my mother might be coming on soon so I'm just gonna end it right here guys have a good day yeah turn it off